Hello and welcome to the Quad Life. Well, you have seen it in previous videos, but today we are talking about my mouse stick. So, my mouse stick is what I use for, well, anything that I do. The main thing, of course, is typing on the computer here. As you just saw, I typed that verse, John 5, verse 46, and I got 37 words per minute. And do another one here on BibleMemory.com. Now, let's go with Genesis 1, verse 31. Alright, this is another one that I am familiar with, so let's get it typed out as well. Quite as fast that time at 34 words a minute, but pretty good. Now, the mouse stick for me is what I am used to, and it is the easiest thing for me as it's what I grew up with using. A lot of other people with high level spinal cord injuries, like myself, in order to use computers like this. They will use voice activation or different things, such as a mouse that is called a quad joy that you can uh, have a straw that you blow or suck into for um, clicking or moving around. And they can use an on screen keyboard for that. That works for you, it's just fine. But as you can see, I type okay with this, and as I've seen at, as I've shown, excuse me, in previous videos, I can also do things like uh, fold laundry, which I rarely do, and I can also play games with kids, or do puzzles, and the other thing. I regularly do is read a book or you know an actual physical book, not just something on the computer here. So someone might ask how you do things like say do capital letters. Well, I'm getting this document here, this uh, plain Microsoft Word document. There are different options you can do, like you could do caps lock, turn it on, do a capital letter, and turn it off. And then keep going. Typos I still do. However, that does not work if you want, say, an exclamation point. Hit caps lock and hit number one. Well, you don't get an exclamation point, you just get one. So, in order to do that, I use something that is called sticky keys. And that is available on both Windows and Mac Macintosh computers. So on Mac here, if you go to System Preferences, and then go to Accessibility, you'll get 
several different options here on the left to choose from. But if you go to keyboard, you can see a check mark for enable sticky keys. And what sticky keys does is makes it so I don't have to hit two keys at once. So now if you look at the top right of the screen, you'll see an up arrow that comes up. That means I've hit the shift key and now anything I hit next will act like shift is being held. So just as we demonstrated a little bit ago, I can't do an explanation point, just a caps lock, but if I hit shift and then one, it comes up with an exclamation point. And that is how I do most of my typing as well. So in this way, I can type without having to hit the key twice because it turns off as soon as I hit something. And on a Mac computer here, I can do that with Shift, Control, Option, Alt, and Function. So they all have their own little special symbols but they all work the same and you see right now they're kinda of gray if I say it shift again it becomes white and that means it will stay on as long as I as long as I keep it on and if I hit shift again then it'll turn off. So it can be the same with all of them. So that way, say with shift, I can do multiple symbols at once. Make it look like I'm saying something bad. And then turn it off. And get regular keys again. So that is what I do for a mouse stick. Um, it makes it easy for setting up computer either uh, here in bed as I am most of the time or my wheelchair and I can also just use a regular mouse this way. Then I can highlight and move things around. So that is part of my mouse stick and it used to be that when I was young in order to get some of these we had to be classified as a medical system. Well now I can get mouse sticks on Amazon or other online retailers. So things have changed in 37 years. But as long as I am able and plan to keep using a stick as it's easy. I know some friends that have had um, quadriplegia as well that they use their mouth but then had other problems come up such as TMJ that they were not able to use their mouth for a lot and had to go to other options. That may be the case at some point, but thankfully for now I'm able to use it well and I can stick with what I know. Yes, pun intended. But that's it for this installment and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.